In this video, I will show you how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. So, with the drop of new Fortnite Season 8 update, if you are experiencing FPS drops and stuttering in Fortnite, then I'm gonna show you guys the best tweaks you can apply in order to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, and reduce input delay in Fortnite Season 8. If you wanna support my work, please don't forget to leave a like on this video as it will help me out so so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So, the new Fortnite Season 8 has just dropped, and a lot of people are experiencing FPS drops and overall low performance. In order to boost that, I'm going to show you guys the best tricks that you can apply to boost FPS and fix lag in Fortnite Season 8. So first up, you guys need to go down into the description of this video and download the Season 8 Optimization Pack by Regnetic. In order to do that, just click on the link in the description which will take you to my website regnetic.com. Once you are here, just go ahead and click on this one right here. If you can't find it at the top, it might be somewhere down because you are watching in the future. But just look for this thumbnail, click on it. Then go ahead and click on the download button which will take you straight to Mediafire. Click on the download button once again which will go ahead and download the pack. Now keep in mind that the website does contain some ads and there is all the information right here. After you are done downloading the pack, just right click on it and go ahead and extract it with 7-zip, WinRAR or any file extractor that you want, even the Windows default one. After that, go ahead and open it up and we are gonna start off by applying the patch tweaks. Go ahead and open this folder, right click the cache cleaner and run it as administrator. It is going to go ahead and delete all of the cache files inside of windows clearing up logs and all of the good stuff which is going to give you guys a performance boost so just let this bad file do its work and then we will be right back so after that is done go ahead and right click on the clear dns cache which is going to improve your ping right click and run as admin then just go ahead and press any key to continue after that right click on the delete fortnite game folder run as admin once again and this is going to go ahead and delete the fortnite game folder from inside of the app data which is going to reset the graphics settings but your controls and everything else will remain the same so just go ahead and press any key to continue and then it will be successfully deleted last but not least is the input delay reduction bat which is going to apply some of the bcd edit commands so right click run as admin and press any key to continue now that we have successfully applied the batch tweaks go back into the pack and open up the drive tweak folder now if you guys have fortnite installed on your ssd which i highly recommend you do then go ahead and right click on it and run as admin because i do but if you guys have your fortnite installed on a hard drive then go ahead and run the tweak hdd Bad. These are the tweaks that are directed towards your storage in order to make it more optimized so that your game loads faster and also you get better performance with your storage overall. So once we are done with that, go back into the pack once more and go ahead and open up the memory cleaner folder. Now this is a very powerful application by Dansky and it is going to tremendously help you guys reduce the input delay. How you might ask? Because this application has a built-in timer resolution that is better than both ISLC and timer resolution. So right click on it, run it as administrator and here you guys will see a timer resolution and a RAM section. The one that we want to use is the timer resolution section. So just go ahead and click on start which should set the current to 0.5 ms and then go ahead minimize the program, play your game and after you're done playing go ahead and open it up once again, click stop and you can close out of this. Also another thing that I want to talk about is that you guys should not be using ISLC. So the reason that you shouldn't be using ISLC is because it has a auto RAM cleaning function which causes a lot of stutters while you're playing because it randomly keeps cleaning up the standby list which is going to cause a lot of stutters while you're gaming. So timer resolution is better than ISLC and this program is better than both. So I highly recommend you to always use this memory cleaner instead of the timer resolution or ISLC. So now you know the functionality of this program, we can close out of this and you need to use it while playing the game. Then go back into the pack once more, go into registry tweaks and inside of here are all the registry tweaks that you will need in order to boost FPS and increase the performance in Fortnite Season 8. So first up, go ahead and open up the credits to FoxOS because inside up here are the registry files that I took from FoxOS. So all the credit goes to Cat Gamer OP and FoxOS in general. And inside here are the default values and here are the tweaked ones. So double click on disable Spectre and Meltdown and more. Hit yes and hit OK which is going to go ahead and disable the security mitigation patches. Then double click the tweaked CSRSS priority. Hit yes, hit OK and the tweaked SVC host priority as well. Yes and OK. Now that we have successfully applied these, go back. Then go ahead and double click on the boost responsiveness dot Reg, hit yes, hit OK. This is going to help you with the desktop responsiveness of your PC. Then disable GPU energy driver, double click, yes, OK. It's completely safe, don't worry. Then there is the Fortnite normal priority reg. Now a lot of people have this misunderstanding that if they run Fortnite and high priority, the game will run better. However, that's not the case. Especially in case of CPU bound games like Fortnite, you want to run them on normal priority so that other tasks get CPU time as well and get performed as quickly as possible so that your CPU can focus on 
your game. So double click on the Fortnite normal priority, yes and okay. Game optimization, yes and okay. And then power optimizations, which just basically goes ahead and turns off power throttling and things like that. So yes, hit okay. And then there is my program for the Win32 priority separation. Just right click on it, run as admin, go ahead and hit okay. And here are a bunch of Win32 values that you want to test for yourself. But if you don't have the time to test, then I would recommend just changing it to 26 hex, hit okay, and that's it. Otherwise, I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and test these values and make sure that you choose the best one for you. Then hit close. And now that we are done with all of these, one thing that I forgot to mention was that the game optimizations disable the full screen optimization, but we also want to disable them in Fortnite as well. So what we need to do is go ahead and open up this PC, go into the drive where your Fortnite is installed, for me it's C, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then scroll down till you guys find the Fortnite lying Win64 shipping.exe, the one that has the largest file size as well. Just right click properties and then go into the compatibility tab, disable full screen optimizations, run this program as admin, change high DPI settings, check this, set it to application, hit ok, apply, ok, and now we are done. Now we have successfully disabled the full screen optimizations and the game should run in exclusive full screen. Going back into the pack, now that we have successfully applied all of the registry tweaks, go back and up next we are gonna go ahead and run the autoruns.exe. Right click, run as admin and inside of here you want to go into the logon tab. Once you're here you want to go ahead and uncheck anything that you don't want to start up with your PC. So for me it would be Steam, the free download manager, Epic Games Launcher, C Cleaner, Soft Ethernet VPN and all of that stuff. Just keep in mind that you shouldn't uncheck anything such as open shell that runs my start menu and Microsoft components that you are not aware of. Only uncheck those things that you know that you don't want to start with your PC. So once you're done with that, go into the schedule tasks and make sure that you also uncheck anything that you don't want here. Just keep in mind that don't uncheck anything from your graphics card or Microsoft. But as you guys can see that I don't want the C cleaner schedule tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all those. Then we move on to services and the same thing here. If I don't want a service to run at startup, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. So for me, that would be the Q emulator, the Rockstar service, the VPN client and the Steam client service. So I went ahead and unchecked all those and we are done. You can close out of this. Up next, we are going to be removing all of the drivers for the devices that were previously connected to our PC but are now removed. In order to do that, right click on the device cleanup.exe, run it as administrator, then go ahead and press Ctrl plus A to select all and hit delete. Once you do that, let your PC delete all of these non-present devices and that's basically it. Now you have successfully cleaned up all of your devices that were previously connected to your PC but are not anymore. All of these steps are to make sure that you get the best performance out of your PC and out of your Windows. Then moving on, go ahead and right click on the MSI Utility V3, run it as administrator and this is a very interesting program and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So what we're gonna do is look for our graphics card first of all. So for me, it's here NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. Then under the supported modes, if it says MSI, then you want to go ahead and check the MSI mode. Now I know a lot of people recommend setting this to high, but for me personally, I would always recommend you to set this to undefined instead of changing it. Just leave it P, check the MSI mode. Then moving on to our audio controller. For me, it's the high definition audio controller. It might be something else for you. If it says MSI under supported modes, go ahead and check MSI. Once we are done with that, keep the interrupt priority at undefined, hit apply, and now you can close out of this. Just make sure that you set your graphics card and your audio controller both to MSI mode if they say MSI under supported modes. After hitting apply, close out of the program and that's it. Then moving on, we are going to be unparking all of our CPU cores to get the maximum performance out of our CPU. So right click unpark CPU, run it as administrator. Once the program opens up, go ahead and unpark all, hit OK and close out of this. This is going to make sure that none of the cores of your CPU are parked and all of them are active doing their work. Afterwards, we move on to the Windows settings. So go ahead and open up this shortcut which will lead you to Windows setting. You can obviously go through start menu and settings as well, but it's just a shortcut. So once you're inside of the settings under the system in the display tab, go ahead and set the scale and layout to 100% recommended. Because for some reason, if you change this, Windows causes issues with the mouse input. So just make sure that this is set to 100% recommended. Once you go ahead and do that, go into the notifications and actions and just make sure that all of these are unchecked and the notifications are turned off. So that none of these are checked and the notifications are turned off. Focus assist, go ahead and set it to off as well. Storage, I have removed this option, but if you guys have the storage sense option right here, just go ahead and turn that off. Then moving on to shared experiences and inside of here, just go ahead and set the shared across devices to off. Once that is done, go back to home.
home and then go into personalization inside of here go into colors and just make sure that the transparency effects are turned off once you're done with that go back once again and this time go into the apps of course in apps and features you always want to uninstall any of the apps that you don't need but we're not here for that so once you're back here go into the gaming tab make sure that the game power is turned off and this is unchecked then go into the game mode and make sure that the game mode is set to on now a lot of people have different views but if you are using the windows 10 with latest update or anything above 1903 then just go ahead and set the game mode to on going back to home go into the privacy tab and this is one of the most important settings that we're going to be changing just make sure that everything is turned off in general speech turned off inking and typing off diagnostic feedbacks make sure to set it to required then go ahead and scroll down set this to never and delete all of the diagnostic data then under the app permission all of this is personal preference but i would like you guys to turn off as many of these as you can location camera if in case you use camera then this is going to probably break that so keep it on microphone keep it on voice activation just go ahead and set it to off set it to off notifications off account information off contacts off calendar phone calls call history email task all of these settings set to off then go to the background apps and this is pretty important just make sure that this is turned off as well which if turned on will allow the apps to run in background using up your cpu and memory resources and lowering the performance so make sure that this is turned off in case you want the best performance then app diagnostics once again go ahead and set this to off automatic file downloads off and then you can leave all of these options as they are go back to home go into update and security delivery optimizations and just make sure that they are turned off go into the advanced options set the percentage of my year bandwidth make sure that this option is selected then go ahead and set these limits to the lowest that is the five percent and do the same thing for these pause the video copy my settings and then go back and that's basically it now you can close out of the window settings close out of the pack as well and we are done with all of the optimizations also these two new settings have been introduced into the fortnite game related to high resolution textures which are pretty useless if you ask me and you always want to turn both of them off high resolution textures don't make a difference anyways except for lowering your performance and eating up your storage so make sure that you never install high resolution textures i will also link other useful guides that will actually help you gain more fps and lower the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out so these are all of the optimizations that you will need to boost your fps in fortnite chapter 2 season 8 if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i try to reply to every single one of your questions and also if this video helped you then make sure to leave a like down below also guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos and with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome